Hi, I'm Erin McClure. I'm the main receptionist in the Residential Life Office. Today we're going to discuss the way to do mail. First thing you want to do when the mail comes is put it in a pile. Separate packages out from the regular mail. Put packages aside for a while. Take rubber bands off from the mailman. Separate out magazines from the regular mail. You want to take this mail Make sure it's all in the same order as it'll make it quicker to put into the mailboxes. You want to make sure that mail with the name and the address matches up with the name or the number on the mailbox, depending on which building you're in. If this matches, you'll put it into the mail slot and not ever take that mail out. Only the student on the other side with a key can remove that mail. When you have all the mail done, into the P.O. boxes that it needs to go into and you have leftover mail left, this is what you will use to look in the roster to see if they live on campus in another building or if they live off campus. So that can be set aside for now. You'll want to move to any magazines you have and make sure that the name on here again matches either the name on the mailbox or the room number. If it matches, stuff it into the mailbox. And again, that mail cannot be removed as it is a federal offense to remove mail from a person's mailbox. Once you have all the mail done, you can move on to the packages. Packages you want to double check to make sure that the name on it matches the name on the mailbox. If it does, you want to take a package slip, fill out the package slip completely. If the package does not fit into the mailbox, this package slip will get placed into the mailbox. The student will then pick up the package slip, bring the package slip with their ID to the front desk, and you'll be able to give them their package. On the package, you will want to write the hall, abbreviation, the room number that they live in, circle it, and then in the package log, which your hall director can explain to you, you will want to write the package number that's corresponding to the slot in the package log that it goes with. You will then take the package and take it to your designated package log cabinet. And place there for the student to come and pick up. Once you have the mail completed, for the students that either do not live on campus or in your building and you have a stack of it, this mail needs to be checked against an all-hall alpha roster. All of these are dated at the top of the roster if it's printed from Minsku. If your hall director prints it from the Excel file, make sure that there's a date on there and that it's currently up to date. If it's an older roster, please ask your hall director to print a new one. What you want to do is check the name on the mail against the roster. If this student lives in Stearns Hall 412, you will write on the piece of mail Stearns Hall 412 and circle it. Put it aside. If this person is checked against the mail roster, or excuse me, the hall roster, and they do not live on campus, do not write anything on there. We do not need to write off campus or OC. Put that in a pile that is for off campus mail. Do the same for the magazines as well. Once you have your mail separated into your piles for on campus in a different building and students that live off campus who no longer live in the residence halls, you will use the corresponding laminated sheets according to your hall. These students will live in a different building. This mail has been checked against Case Hill Hall mail. You will use this, put a rubber band around it, this mail has been checked against the roster as well and does not live in this building or any building on campus. You'll take it and nicely neatly fold it, putting the yellow slip on there saying it's been checked against the Case Hill Hall roster and this needs to be checked against the Hall um, forwarding rosters in the central office. We do not use staples to put these attached to this. You can either use a paper clip 
and put it on there nicely, or a rubber band, but never a stapler.